because we travel all the time. My husband and I travel by RV. We were had no other home besides the RV for 14 years. Mm -hmm. And you'd travel beautiful places, you better take pictures. So we take thousands of pictures. Starting back in 2003, we there weren't smartphones. So we mm -hmm. took pictures with real cameras and we put them on the computer and mm -hmm. we used Picasa, Google's, which was also by Google. Mm -hmm. So I got to know Picasa very well and I wrote a book on it and I visited Google and met with the Picasa team and all that good stuff. Then they came out with Google Photos, and I right away wanted to know as much about it as possible. So I jumped on the forums and asked questions and answered questions. And now I've written a, a book on Google Photos. Nice. And, and, and it's not just because it's a hobby, although it is a hobby, but we make our living from our website, which is geeksontour.com. Both Jim and I are geeks. That's how we got together in the first place 25 years ago. And, and, and this is where you can become a member, country. right? This is what? where you can become a member too, right? You, you encourage right. people to become members of, of, of the site, correct? Right. We make our living from our website. But there's a lot of stuff on our website, geeksontour.com, that is free. But if you want to be able to access it all, you need to pay us. It's about five bucks a month but mm -hmm. annually. And you become a member, and then that lets get you in. And it also allows you to ask questions. So nice. I answer a lot of questions on my own website, in addition to the Google Photos forum for Google. Oh, okay. That's awesome. That is so so awesome. And well, I apologize. You know, it really really is true. If you find something you love to do and you can make a living at it that you never have to work a day in your life. Yeah, that's so true. I mean, that is oh so true. I mean, I've heard that many, many times and it's so true. <laughs> it just is. Um, also, and folks out there, sorry that I didn't start off with sound. I did, I, I had the sound turned off when I first started. So not again. Bit. I know, I know. I always do. I, it's, it's inevitable. It's going to happen every time I do it. So uh, anyway, so, well, let's get right at it. Let's get at uh, some questions. Let's have some fun. Do we need to repeat anything? Um, no, I think they, I think they got from when you started, they just didn't hear my big mouth, which is fine, but <laughs> <laughs> which I'm totally fine with that as long as they got yours. And, and I was like, Oh yeah, that's right. Sound. That'd be a good idea to go ahead and add that on there. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> no sound, no video still. Okay. Now you should be hearing something. Does everybody hear me out there? I just want to make sure that we hear that everybody hears. I think they do. Yes. Anyway, and I'm, I'll I'll talk a little bit just to make sure. Yeah, they can, yeah. Let's see. Hearing me too. Just to make sure. This one was my error though. This was not a a, a system error. Okay, good. Yeah, heard about the RV and all that kind of stuff. Okay, good. And they can hear now. Okay, good. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. All right, so let's get right into it. Let's get into a screen share and show. Uh. I see you showing pictures. There. Let's just start off with that. Can we show your screen? Oh, well, this is this is just my phone. I am uh, made sure that it is, I'm able to display it. Love it. And I have, I have a brand new phone. This happens to be a Note 9. And this is Google, Google Photos on a phone ha as an app. And it has several sections. So down here at the bottom, I can tap on Photos. And that shows all my about 70,000 pictures. Wow, that's crazy. Albums. And I have, I have thousands of albums as well. Albums are where I put my best photos. So that's and awesome too. Assistant is very special to Google Photos. In the Assistant, you can make an album. You can... Uh, get a photo book. You can make a movie, a collage, or an animation. And they make things for you. So here, apparently, is a little movie that it made for me. I haven't even watched it yet. That's awesome. That's fun. And that, that is our current RV nice. because we now have a townhouse. So we love this little RV that can park in a regular parking lot. Yeah, <laughs> much easier to get around, isn't it? 
Okay, now, so I'm going to ask a quick question real quick, okay? Since you're on this subject and you're talking about photos, and I know a lot of people ask me this, so I'm going to ask you this, so I want to make sure. So all of these are stored on my phone, correct? All of the <laughs> all of these photos are stored on my phone, right? <laughs> well, this particular phone actually could possibly because it's a 128 gigabyte phone but my <laughs> my old phone was only 32 gigabytes and i can show you all right so let me put it back on the people that asked that question okay if i can see these photos on this phone and i can see the same photos on this phone mm-hmm where are those photos? <laughs> they are they are not on both phones. So they are in the cloud, we call it. We used to call it the web, online. All three of those terms are synonyms. It is your Google account. Everybody who has a Google account is given storage space for images. And we just generically call that the cloud. Mm. So you take a picture with the phone. If you have Google Photos app on your phone and you have the backup and sync turned on, that means every photo you take gets uploaded to the cloud. To okay. Your Google quick, quick question then. So a friend of mine asked me this the other day. So I'm going to ask you on this exact same subject since we're right on it. This is perfect. It's falling right into place. He said to me, he said, okay, so that means if I'm not near Wi-Fi or near the cloud or in the cloud, then I can't see these photos. Is that correct? That, that is a really good question because in, in general, the mm-hmm. answer is yeah. I mean, true. You, you can't. However, I mean, okay. this photo exists in in the cloud. Um, now this is a recent photo. So let me see if I can demonstrate this. The, the fact though is that Google Photos does some magic with these little thumbnails. Okay. So as as you work with your photos, I can I I am online right now and I can go all the way back to you know 1962 in my photos. Well, you had a Google phone then? <laughs> I didn't even know they had Google photos back then. Yeah, right. I'm just kidding. Exactly. <laughs> um, these, are, these are photos that were in a photo album, and I took my phone and I snapped pictures of them, and then I edited the date so that it was appropriate. Correct. These gotcha. were taken in 1962. So these photos are absolutely not on this phone. Wow. And... Awesome. I am seeing them because I do have internet, but let's, uh, let's put it into airplane mode. So if everybody understands, if you put your phone into airplane mode, yeah, it's not it connecting. you are not connected, right? You're not connecting to the cloud. You don't, yeah. You don't have any internet connection and yet. Okay. Now I'm starting to get some that I'm not seeing. I see that. And, that is absolutely because I don't have internet, but there are some. So any pictures that have been looked at enough develop these little thumbnails. Hmm. All right. So this is a picture of when Jim and I were married <laughs> back in 2000, I mean, 1998. Now the issue is if I enlarge it, it's not going to look real good. Mm, got because it. this this is just the thumbnail right, right, right. being got enlarged it. rather than seeing the full size photo that's that's online. Okay, question just Please. came in. This is this is all this is awesome stuff. But you brought it up, so they so they <laughs> Sheila asked a question. Wait, how do you edit a date? <laughs> <laughs> how do you edit a date? Well, um, I can't show you on this phone because for some reason. Well, let me make sure it hasn't changed. This is an Android phone that is under the camera right now. And if I open a picture Mm -hmm. and swipe up, you see the date. Mm -hmm. And there is no little pencil over here. But on an iPhone or on the computer, on the web version, Mm -hmm. when I swipe up and see the date, see this little pencil? Mm Mm-hmm. So it does it, it does it for iPhone, but not for, that's so crazy. Yeah. yeah isn't that weird? 
It is, but go but ahead. It, I'm it sorry. absolutely does it on the computer. Okay. So everybody can do it on their, on their computer. And I can make the date be anything I want. And if I change the date of this photo to 1980, it would reposition itself in my stream of photos to be back with the other photos from 1980. Okay, so anybody that's on the computer and, and you want to try it on your computer, you would go to, if you're in photos.google.com and you have a photo that you want to do that to, you go to the little info circle, correct? There you I go. Can, oh, you're there. That. You're yeah. there. Yeah, the info circle yeah, at so, the top right. So here's here's a photo of mm-hmm. <laughs> those guys of today. What was doing today out diving. And okay, I'll turn it off so you can see how I turn it on. Yeah, mm-hmm. that little eye. That little I means info. And when you click on it, it opens up the right side panel. I see the pencil. (laughs) I see the pencil. And there's the pencil. Fantastic. Make the date be whatever you want. Now, this is wonderful. It really is what, you know, I can, I did it the other day. I snapped a bunch of pictures from an old photo album. Mm -hmm. And I haven't yet, but I will go in and I will edit their dates. And uh, then they'll be where they belong in my in my photo album. However, if I then, where is that happening? Where where is this photo that I'm looking at? It's in the cloud, right? <laughs> it's in the cloud. In my Google Photos. So when I change that date, I am not changing the metadata of that photo. Yep. That's the Google thing. They they don't change the original photo yeah where that date is going is in like a database of of your photos in your google photos so as long as you're using google photos that date is good right but if i should decide i want this picture on my computer and it's going to carry the date that you put it up there download, yeah it's going to it take the date you downloaded it, it has the original date right right the date you so, downloaded it the well, no, the date created, the date it was taken. Oh, okay. So that that metadata stays with the photo itself, then. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Okay. But if I'm taking a picture of something, let's say back in 1980, and I take a picture of a picture, it's going to put today's date that I took the picture. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not going to take 1980 just so everybody understands that (laughs) it's not the date of the original picture, even though it was the original picture. Now it will be on Google. Anyway, we could get really confusing there. All right. Now I want to ask you, this is one that, uh, actually you kind of, we, we kind of shared on this one. How, how does uh, search work in Google photos? Does it search file names, words and descriptions, cameras, dates? What is, what does it search? How does it search? it searches everything. I think I'm, I'm just going to use the computer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, please. Um, I mean, it works the same on the phone, but it's just, it's easier to show easier you. Easier to see in bigger view. Yeah, I got you. Got you. Yeah, it's easier to show you here. So there's this search field right up here. So if I should search for, and I have a few, let me see. I can search for a date. So I showed you when, when Jim and I were married. That was on July for 1998. Wow. That's almost when Google was created. <laughs> <laughs> so that we had an unconventional wedding and notice we wore our little propeller mm-hmm. head mm-hmm. propeller hats even then. So you can search for a specific date. Now, you can also search for people, but only if they've already been named. So does everybody know about I love this. The, the circles. I love the, those. The people pane. Now that's this little thing keeps getting in my way. Okay. <laughs> if you click on albums, mm-hmm. these are all the albums I have made intentionally, but at the very top that's are right. the automatic albums that Google makes mm-hmm. people and pets. And it had, it, it tries, it goes through all this, asking you questions, whether or not it got them right. I'm going to ignore that right now. So just get rid of that. Now, the first time around, Google is just looking at every picture and saying, oh, there's a face in that picture. Then it looks at all the other pictures and says, oh, 
I see that face mm-hmm. again. It doesn't mm-hmm. know who this person is. It just says that all these pictures have that same face mm-hmm. in it. Mm-hmm. Yep. But if if I know who it is, here's a place where I can add a name. So Kip. Kip Barkley. And I, I can put his last name or not. But even with just his first name, now... It'll search for that person. Wherever I am, I can search for Kip. And the beauty is, if you have more than one person, I can say Kip and... Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Jim. And now I will only get pictures that have both Kip and Jim in the picture. So awesome. I like that. That that one is way cool. It is. That one is way cool. But that only works after you have identified the people in the the people albums. Mm -hmm. All right. Then you can search for places. Okay. So Mount Rushmore. And what is it searching? Now, so I look at this photo and I'll look at the description. And do you see the word Rushmore in here anywhere? Under the map. Oh, well, yeah. there, but that yeah. that's on the map. So, mm-hmm. yeah, all right, maybe that. <laughs> um, but this was taken, this was taken with a Canon camera. This was not taken with a smartphone that has GPS in it. So mm-hmm. this is an estimated location. Anyway, it shows up in search because it knows Recognize. what Google knows what Mount Rushmore that's so, looks like. That's so crazy. So it doesn't need any text. Let's see what let's see what this one has. George, Tom, Teddy, and Abe. <laughs> yeah. So you don't see Rushmore here anywhere, but it's been returned in the search because it knows what Mount Rushmore looks like. That's so cool. Um and same thing with Eiffel tower yeah, these okay. we were in we were in paris in 2001 so this was long before any f- cameras had gps but here now it might have recognized this but also the file name has e-i-f-f-e-l mm-hmm. that is part of what's being searched That's the file name is part of what's being searched and if there's a description it's being searched and that's awesome. You just taught me that the other day because I know I reached out to you and or I mentioned it to you during your show. I said I'd put my dog's name in there, but it won't come up. And you said that it does take a little bit of time for that to happen. And sure enough, after I let it sit for a while, it did. It finally came up. So, oh, oh good to know. So it spoke true to what you said because I had told you, I think, in a comment on your show, I think I actually uh-huh. said to you, I said, ah, oh, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> But, so, so another example. So if I type in the, just the word electric. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't think it's going to find anything based on what it thinks electric. Well, yeah, it does. Electric <laughs> lights. Yeah, look at that. Look at those. It, it, it has come up with those because it yep. thinks that yep. is part of what electric. Mm-hmm. But the thing that I noticed. I just love that. Yeah. So fireworks comes up with electric. But <laughs> here. Electric this bike. comes up, I'm sure, because the word electric mm-hmm. is in the description. That's so awesome. But yeah, that doesn't, it, it doesn't always seem to work. And, and it definitely takes some time. If you just type that in, it's not going to show up on a search. It's, it's kind of like a whole web search, although this is only searching your photos. Your photos, yeah, exactly. It's not going out. That's something time. that I, I forget that people don't understand. Yep. This is your photos. Yep. Only I can see these. I mean, yep. you're seeing these because yeah, I'm, you're showing them. Yeah. You, know, but <laughs> you cannot, no way, no how, search the internet and find my photo unless I have made it, unless I have shared it out there somewhere. You can't, you can't find it in my Google Photos. Uh, another thing you can search for is phone. So I take pictures with a a Canon camera. I take pictures with a Samsung. I take pictures with an iPhone. I can search for just 
Samsung. Oh, wow. That's crazy. And now this will also get... So this picture was taken with Jim's Samsung EKGC <laughs> 200. That's, That's not my phone. That's something. My, my phone is a Samsung Note 9. So the... Is that in an album? Does it search... No. Well, search like his phone in an album? Uh, it's searching your library of okay. all photos. Okay. So, well, okay, let me ask you that. At library, is that include, this is something that I'm curious about because on, on the album side, of, and maybe I'm jumping ahead, you just say something, but I, I mean, we're just, we're asking questions, so that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, that's, I'm just here for questions. If I, put in, if I put an album in, and I have an album, and I share it with my wife and a bunch of friends, we were all on the same trip together, and we're all sharing photos into this album. It doesn't show up in my photos. It shows up in my album, but it shows up in my, it does not, only the pictures I took show up in my photos. Is that correct? Am I saying that correct. right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. okay so in order me, to, but if I want to get them in my photos, is there a okay. way to do that? Let me ask you that. Yes, there absolutely okay. is. So okay, let me cool. go to albums. This is awesome. And this is good stuff, we folks. Took a, we took a dive trip earlier this year with, oh, it's not in albums. I'm sorry. If it's a, group album so these albums are still just my pictures right got it. okay it has to be a shared it has my, to be a shared album or something it's in sharing yes okay in the sharing section is where you'll find albums that you have opened up to a group of people to add their photos to okay and i have one i have several but there's one that so you can't do it from albums, is, is, is my point. You can't do it from the album section. Yeah, you section. can. Okay, but okay, okay. You have, to, you have to change a setting. Okay. So I'm still looking for it. I have a ton <laughs> of albums. And this is one place where they really have some work to do is, is in giving us some tools to organize albums. Right. Okay. Here it is, I think. Ah. So me and Tom and Thomas, Thomas yep. are sharing this, this album. And if other people have added photos to it, no, nope, that's just a one. Uh, all right. I know that it has the word Bimini in it. So, no. Hmm. Uh, uh, USA dive. Nope. <laughs> yeah. See, Google Photos makes it so easy to find your photos until you get thousands of both photos and albums. Then it gets it gets harder. See, I'm I'm. So if you typed going, it, typed in dive. Sure thought it had Bimini. Blackbeards. Yeah, see these are these are still just my albums. Okay, gotcha. Sharing. And shouldn't be that shouldn't be that far. Bimini USA dive. See, I just passed over it too quickly. Mm. And Bimini should have come up. Uh, maybe search doesn't get shared albums. I learn something new every time <laughs> I say this stuff too. Okay. So this was a group of people and mm -hmm. I shared it with them and I allowed collaboration so that other people could. Mm -hmm. So this picture was taken not by me, but was taken by Alan. And that's what happens when people contribute photos to an album, mm -hmm. their name shows up. Mm-hmm. So this photo is not, if I looked through my library, I would not find this photo. If I want it in my library, you click this little cloud with a down arrow. And that adds it to your cloud. Add to library. Does this, add, do does this add this to your phone? If you're doing this on your phone, does it do this? Or is this only on the computer where you can do this? Just curious. No, you can do it on the phone. Nice. But they get added to the cloud. Yeah. You know, they don't, they don't get stored on your phone. It's, it just goes into your Google account and oh, your really? library. Oh, okay. And you can do it for the whole 
so the album as well. Let me ask you that. If oh, okay. I'm doing the whole album. Right. And I click that cloud with the down arrow. Yeah. Every photo that is not mine goes there. Is now mine. Oh wow. Okay. Now on the phone, I think it it just it doesn't have that little cloud. It says it actually says save. Okay. So let me let me go over to the phone. So if I'm in share, okay, let and me show you. Too. So I'm in sharing, mm -hmm. and there's Bimini USA. Oh yeah, same thing, little cloud. Like when we go to the summit. You and I, and we, we, I, I created an album this year that everybody participated on. I mean, there's tons of pictures on there. Can I individually add one of those? So you're saying yes. just go to one of those person's pictures, right? That's what you're saying. Yeah. On my phone. I'm going to do it right now because I'm thinking about it. Yeah. If you just open up one picture on the phone, it should you should see the word save. Oh, yeah. There it is. Save. So when I hit save there, that's not saving it to my phone. That's saving it to... The Google Photos. To your Google Photos account, yeah, awesome. to your library. That's so awesome. <laughs> that is so awesome. That's fantastic. It, it is, and yet it's weird. I mean, you have to understand this. So if, if anybody shares that, hmm, one thing I don't like about it, mm -hmm. once it's in your library, mm -hmm. there is no information about who took it. Mm. So next year... I could be looking at my pictures and I say, oh, look at this great picture I mm -hmm. took on the Bimini Drive. Mm -hmm. You know, and somebody says, you didn't take that. Oh, I took yeah. that. You know, and no, none of these people care. They're not professional photographers. Right. But it's still just kind of, I think it should be part of the metadata as to who took it. Right. Exactly. No, that makes that makes total sense. I mean, it shows who took it here. Yeah. Why can't that be saved with the photo somehow? That's a good, good point. Anyway, I don't want, I love Google Photos. I love Google yeah, Photos, yeah, but yeah. it's not perfect. And I think it should be perfect. So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we want to try to keep making it more perfect. All right. I know the answer on this one, but I'm going to ask it anyway because uh, okay. I got a brand new Pixel 3 just uh, a couple weeks ago. So, when I get a new phone, how do I get all my photos that I took with my old phone? Now that really is awesome. <laughs> that I mean, I just did. This is my old iPhone. Mm -hmm. And my Google Photos on there showed me 60,000 photos. I got a brand new Note 9. And notice I'm even switching here from iPhone to Android. And all I had to do was install the Google Photos app, tell it my account, and boom. All my sixty thousand photos. Yes, see, that's the beauty. Are there? Oh, I'm still I'm still in airplane mode on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on that one you are. But that that is the best thing. I swear that was so awesome. Okay, these three. I got three things I'm going to ask you real quick because they're all they're all related. So I'm going to kind of throw them all into one question. Okay, just so just so you have it. Okay. I need to grab a photo to edit online. Like I use a Pixlr online that I edit with. How do I grab that photo from Google Photos? Do I have to download it first? That's the first part of it. And the second thing is, can I embed a uh, like a, an album in my Google site, like a whole album where they can just toggle through and that kind of thing? That's the second part of it. And how can I attach a Google photo, not the link, in my Gmail? If I wanted to just right. add a photo to Gmail. Okay, that's the three. Okay. <laughs> I know three it's a lot, questions. but yeah, let, it let is. Me, let me take the, the slideshow in a website first okay. because the answer is no. Okay, good. That's easy. <laughs> easy. easy answer. Well, so how I do it is with Google Slides. Yep. Just take the I photos. Add, I add my photos to Google Slides. Okay. And I so let me ask you this. Slides. So let me ask you this. Do you have to download every single photo that you want to put into the slides then? No, no. Google Slides, no, you, you just insert photo from your Google Photos. Nice. That's awesome. But okay. what I want is the ability, and I've, I've tried a plug-in to do this, but it wasn't so great. I want the ability to just take every photo in an album, you know, mm -hmm. all 150 yeah. of them, yes. and boom, put them onto slides. That would be now, fantastic. So far <laughs> that I can tell it's one at a time. But. <coughs> okay, good. Okay. Okay. And your second one was Pixlr. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yes, in uh, Google Photos, I cannot 
you know, you can edit with Google Photos or you but can I, edit okay. with, well, let me see on here. On the phone, yeah, there's no other edit. Right. Now, on the phone, you can. Snapseed, I know you can, it'll do some stuff where you can crop and do some things like that. Right. But if I well, wanted to make a banner for, let's say, my website that I was doing, but this is a cool photo that I wanted to do that to, there's no way to really create that banner and go and add words and all that kind of stuff. That's why I do that in Pixlr. Right. I, I have to download that picture first in order to do that. That's all I'm saying. Well, you can do it from Google Drive. Okay. If you want. Okay. But I just wanted to show on the phone, if mm -hmm. you have other editors on the phone, for there. example, Snapseed, mm -hmm. You can write from Google Photos. You can three dot menu access and it. it. Okay. Okay. And edit yeah. and snap. And I love that. Snapseed is. Oh, one. I love it. I love it. I did a great one where I did a black and white background. Uh, and, and just and just the co left everything color on the image. It's, and I did that all through Snapseed. I learned uh, Snapseed. I learned how to do that. It's so awesome. Anyway, that's a whole different thing. And but what about on, the? Go ahead. In, the, so you can't get to Pixlr from Google Photos, but you can from Google Drive. So how do you get your Google Photos pictures to show up in Google Drive? That's the three line menu and settings. And oh, no, I'm sorry. This is the wrong way around. This is if you have pictures that were uploaded to Google Drive and you want oh, to see them in okay. Google Photos. All I right, got you. Never mind. I got you. I, so it's from Google Drive. That you'd have to go from there and bring it. Okay. It's a set. Right. So it's a setting in Google Drive. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. In Google Drive, mm -hmm. there is a setting that says make a Google Photos folder in my drive. And that, that's over on the settings. Come on. Settings. And it's taking its time here. Mm -hmm. Settings and create a Google Photos folder. If that is checked, then every photo uploaded to Google Photos is viewable in Google Drive. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, so you can pull it in so that one. I, I have that. And that, that that's in the My Drive. Computers mm -hmm. is something completely different. But in My Drive, mm -hmm. I have Google Photos Chris. And I it, it's even been getting my latest ones from nice. 2019. Oops. Nice. I went... Because they just automatically go over there. And if you open one, then you have the editors that are available to drive able to edit it. So, uh, Don't know what that one is, but <laughs> I'll open up just any. Oh, lobster. Oh, lobster. That's a good one. And then open with, and there's Pixlr. Okay. Got it. Yep. And, and pick monkey. Mm -hmm. And anything else, you know, you can install, yeah, get more, connect more apps. You know? mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And your last question was about in Gmail. Well, that's kind of relates to one that you you asked also, or you had up here too. You know, photos on my phone, so I can use it for wallpaper or contact photos, or in Gmail. All of those. Any? How do you use those photos for all those different things? But go ahead. Well, they they are different in Gmail. Mm -hmm. Any Google app is kind of connected to every other Google app. So Crazy. if you are making a if if you're creating an email using Gmail, mm -hmm. you have a button to get your Google Photos right here. And it is it is actually inserting the photo. That's that's Google Photos, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. That that is Google Photos. And you can actually have it showing up in line in the email or as an attachment. 
Oh, wow. That's so nice. So that, that is coming from Google Photos. No, no extra work involved if you're using Gmail. Yeah. Google yeah. Mail. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now, to make it wallpaper on your phone is, is different. Well, depending on if you're on an iPhone or an Android. <laughs> I mean. Of course, they got to be different. Yeah. On, on Android, you do have a use as. This is Google Photos. This is Google Photos mm -hmm. app on an Android. Mm -hmm. Bring up a photo, mm -hmm. tap the three dot menu, use as, and there's wallpaper oh, or yeah. contact photo. That's awesome. So I can use this, you know, I could crop it to just one of their faces yeah, and use that fantastic. as their contact photo, or I could make it as wallpaper. That's now, awesome. That that's not the iPhone doesn't have that. So on iPhone, if I wanted to make, you know, that picture be my mm -hmm. wallpaper, mm -hmm. I tap three dots and use as wallpaper isn't there, but download is, and that is saving it to the device. Okay. So then you could use it how you wanted to. Gotcha. Okay. Right. right. Now, uh, now good, it's my camera roll on the iPhone. Good question from John Mattoon out there. He says, will Google Photos find duplicates? <laughs> Don't you wish. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Yeah, no. Doesn't have, I mean, that that is a very highly requested. And in my, you know, my philosophy on that. All right. So look at, look at these photos. I mean, they kind of look like duplicates, right? But they aren't. Those are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different pictures I took of mm -hmm. this pretty parrot. Mm -hmm. But so that's that's garbage. But do I bother my pretty little head taking time to eliminate all but one? <laughs> no. What I do is I pick the one that I really do like. And I add it to an album. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And then what I show people or what I go look at. It's when gonna I'm show. My yes. Pictures, yep. That's perfect. Is the album. So perfect. I mean, traditional photo management says um, delete the work, you know, keep the best and delete the rest. Yeah. I just say Pick Keep the best. the best, and you're done. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. Put the best in an album. Yeah. Oh, well, let and, me ask. You, since you brought it up, that's a great question. So, if I have an album, okay, let's say for example, I've created this album, and it's called my my granddaughter's name is Evie. Okay, so I've got an album for Evie. Okay, that it's just her pictures. I just created an album of hers, and let's say I go and I search, and I say, oh yeah, here's some new ones. If I go and I add them, but let's say I add too many that I've already put in there that were already in photos. Does it duplicate or does it just add the ones that need to go in there? It, it does not add them again. No. Nice. It doesn't. Nice. So, so maybe that is kind of a duplicate checking, huh? Yeah. Is that maybe, maybe? Yeah. That's, that's kind of cool. I, I like yeah, that so because especially albums is a way out of that, I think, which is a really good thing. Absolutely. So I, my technique, I make an album for every month. So here's, here's my album for December. And, you know, so here are all my pictures, mm -hmm. just one of each picture that either is a really nice picture that I want to see, mm -hmm. or it's important to telling the story of my life. I mean, our, right, my right. monthly albums tell the story of our life that month. Some of them are really good pictures. Some of them, not so much, but they're, but they're a memory. Right. So, so here's one that says entrance to the campground, to the KOA campground. If I go back to my library of photos and find that picture, which, see, now you got to take a lot of pictures, right? That's the only way you know you're going to get a good one. True. <laughs> there is the picture of that. Mm -hmm. There is that picture that I showed you in the album. Mm -hmm. If I say, 
ooh, I need that in my December album. And I choose three dots, add to album. And put it in the December one. Choose December. And then we go back. I mean, it says one photo added. But if we go back to albums and look at December, I am sure it'll just have the one. Only see one. That's it. Nice. That's so cool. That really is. That is so great. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I will spend all night doing this. You know I would because I love this kind of stuff. So I, I don't. I, I'm going to ask you one last one. Okay. And, I, and I know there's a lot of people out there and stuff like that and a lot of things. And, and I want to give a little bit of time for the community to come in and chat with you a little bit too, just because I do that benefit for the community. But last question, what makes Google Photos better than, because there's tons of them out there, iCloud, OneDrive, Amazon Photos. I, I, yeah, I mean, all of them, all, everybody's doing storage and photos and all that kind of stuff. What makes this one better in your opinion? Okay. Yeah. I, I, I love this one. And it's, <laughs> I use them all because I want to really know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have an iPhone, so I use, I do use the iCloud photos. And sometimes I think, you know, maybe one of the other ones is better, but then I realize. So number one, Google Photos is the only one Mm -hmm. that gives you unlimited storage for free for both your photos and your videos. It's the only one that does that. And even if you can afford it, there's just, it's so nice to not even think about it. Mm-hmm. You know, you know that you have free, unlimited storage for your photos. Okay. Uh, number two is the apps. One, I think one of the biggest things that a lot of people don't realize until you use them all is that the Google Photos app on the iPhone, mm-hmm. on the Android, the website on the computer do almost all the same things on iCloud, for example, which is Apple's Mm -hmm, iCloud mm -hmm. is Apple's solution. You can see the photos in your iCloud library online, but unless you have a Mac and the photos software on the Mac, you don't have any functionality of stuff to do with it. Right. Um, You know, you can't make a, you can't do any editing. You can't make a collage. You can't make an animation. Uh, And on. And it stores differently too. I think I've heard you say it stores differently as well. I mean, this is always on the cloud and when you delete it, you know, all this kind of stuff, all those things are a little different with those other things that are a little quirky with some of those other ones too. Right. And you better really understand what's yeah. happening when you delete a photo. Yes, yes. On on Google Photos, it is possible, but you better do it the right way. Right. <laughs> delete from the device without deleting from your account. Right. With Apple, you can't. Apple. Mm-hmm. It's all. Apple's job is to keep every device exactly in sync with every other one. So if you delete from one, it deletes from all. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, and now the Microsoft one, OneDrive, I actually use a combination. I use Google Photos and I use OneDrive. Mm. And OneDrive is pretty good. <laughs> you know, it's not free, but if you if you use Office 365, which a lot of people do yeah, because that's do, what yeah. gives you Microsoft Word and Excel and yeah. so Office. If if you pay what, between sixty and hundred dollars for Office three sixty five, you get one terabyte of free storage, and it works the same way as Google Photos in that it's on the phone and then it uploads all the photos. But once again, there's no functionality right. in the app on right. your phone. Exactly. That's, yeah. that's pretty much all it does yeah. is just they figure you're going to do your editing on a computer. Right. You know, gotcha. Google is the only one that says, 
people don't need a computer anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. I, again, I don't want to. I don't want this to go way too long. So, community, I will be inviting you. I'm going to go out just for the fun of it. At the end here, we have a lot of people that came out, and I just want to recognize some people that are out there tonight. I'm going to go back to the original in the comments, and it says I know a lot of people had to leave. Um, we have. Uh, Ross, Simply Beth is out there. Richard's out there. Doris Haskell came in. Bob Castillo, I think it is. Um, Ross Bounty from Australia. That's so awesome she's here. Dear Myrtle. Dear Myrtle came in. She had to go. I know she had to go. And Andrew, Sheila, John Mattoon is out there. I know I mentioned him. Let's see. Simply, let's see. I think I got everybody. Oh, Gary Bigelow. I saw he's out there. Got a couple of people. I just like to recognize some of the people that come in and, and come in and chat with us and talk and, and added some good stuff. And there's some good questions. I try to get them in as soon as you guys mentioned them and brought them up. I want to, uh, I'll let ever let the community know you're welcome to come in and chat with us for a little bit. I'm not going to keep her too long because she and I'm, I want you to mention this. You get a chance to say this, but you're getting ready to go out of not a, not only out of town. <laughs> this is going to be a whole yeah. whole different RV, isn't it? Go ahead, We're tell going her. down under. We're uh, going to the other side of the planet. Awesome! I we're think gonna, that's so cool. We're going to scuba dive on the Great Barrier Reef, and we're going to rent an RV in New Zealand and awesome. do some touring on both the North and South Islands. That is so stinking cool. And if you want to follow anybody who wants to follow us along, can just come to our Australia New Zealand album. And it, it, when you go there, you will see a button for join. Now, how do you find this? You would need to go to uh, my personal blog. Let me see if my. Uh, yeah, geeksontour.blogspot.com. Or I just set it up so that if you go to chrisgould.com, it will redirect you there. There you go. So that, and you'll have the, the, all the photos that you're taking while you're in Australia, you're going to put them in there. Right. So you go awesome. to our photo albums and these are my photo albums for several years here, but at the very top, there's the one for Australia, New Zealand. <laughs> That's not Ross says, not close enough to me, though. You're missing out, not coming to South Australia. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we are going to have to go back. <laughs> That's so awesome. Look, anybody that I'm telling you, it's so worth it. Uh, I, I know I get a newsletter from you guys. Uh, it, it's just try it out. Check it out. Go check out her YouTube. She does uh, what does this button do and all this kind of stuff. Really lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff. I love it, but. Uh, that that you do and you provide and you help people with. There you go. There's the there's the website. And yeah, I mean, help them out with a little support there. So go support them for a year or so. Just you know, just try it out. Check it out. I I, I recommend it. Uh, I would. Yeah, love Australia to, New Zealand is not going to be cheap. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> We need all the support we can so, get. So, yeah, help them out. Always help her out. She's always, every time you've been on my show, I always get the most views because everybody loves photos. Everybody loves the way you show and the way you teach. And I really do appreciate you. I really appreciate you coming on. I know that you're, you know, you're busy right now trying to get out of, out of the country and all that kind of stuff. So I really do appreciate you taking time and coming on the well, show. You, you know, I love it. Uh, <laughs> Thank I you. I appreciate that. Yep. Folks, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate all of you that come and watch and anybody that's watching this and replay, feel free to ask, add comments and I will pass if you leave them because I'm the only one that gets those responses. I will forward them on to Chris and let her give you an answer because like she said, before we even started, she says she loves to teach and she loves to help people. So that's what it's all about. And uh, thank you again. And I will see you guys, um, community members, in the chat afterward. Thank you very much, folks. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.